Hello, scrappy sock knitters. Finally, I've reached the point where I'm ready for the bind off because my um, sorry for the scratching noise. I will lift them up a bit. Um, as you can see, here is the place where the heel is supposed to go, and I, when I fold it double, the um, leg part is almost as long as the foot part of the sock. For me, that's the perfect uh, measurement. I always make my socks this long. So, we're going to do the bind off now. I use, um, what's it called? Uh, Jenny's surprisingly stretchy bind off. I know there are so many um, to choose from. But this is the one that I use for all my socks. So what I do is this. The first stitch I'm going to knit and then I make a yarn over. I knit the second stitch and I will pick up both threads and pull it over the knitted stitch, the second one. So now I have one stitch bound off, okay? I have one on the needle. Again, I make a yarn over. I knit the next stitch. I pick up both threads and bind off like this. Yarn over. It's very simple. Yarn over, knit, and bind off like this. It, um, when it is finished, it will make a rather a loose um, part here. And it, it doesn't look like much when you're not wearing the socks. But believe me, when you're wearing the socks, you are happy you did this thing. Because it makes a very, like the word says, stretchy bind off. And that's all what you need for your socks, right? You don't want uh, them to sit um, very tight on your legs because that's not good. Okay, I go all the way down. Just doing the same thing, a yarn over and a knit stitch. I hope you are knitting along with this tutorial. It took me a while to um, finish the socks because I was, um, <laughs> I was busy making a quilt. Um, it's on the YouTube channel if you if you're interesting to watch. I was um, what's it called when your attention is somewhere else distracted. Yes, I was distracted by um, my scrappy fabric, uh, my scrappy fabrics, and um, I had to make a quilt. I I made the top um, last year, last summer, and. I had the urge to finish it. I even learned a new skill. The mitered or mitered, I, I think you say mitered corners. I learned that from someone on YouTube. It's amazing. I made a lot of quilts in my time, but I never used that technique and because I thought it's too complicated for me, but it's not. It's very easy to do. Okay, uh, back to the socks. The last stitch, what I do now is remove this hair and then I'll pull the thread a bit and leave it because I'm going to do the second half of the second sock now first and later I will come back. See, it's a little bit, it doesn't look like much, but as long as they're in your drawer or in your closet, 
it's okay if you have them on your legs you're glad that they're looking a bit funny so now you just first stitch your knit yarn over knit and bind them off like this What was I saying? I, I hope you are knitting along with um, your scrappy sock. I would love I would love to see them. So if you're on Instagram or you're um, a member of the scrappy socks group on Facebook, please show them. I'm so curious if you are following along and if the Please let me know if the tutorial is, is working for you, if it's, um, well, explained in a way that you, that you get it. And if not, I mean, there are other people who are doing a much better job. This is so amateuristic what I'm doing. But anyway, I love doing it. Once a teacher, always a teacher, they say, so ask my kids <laughs> they will agree get out of your teaching mode mom okay oh almost forgot the yarn over so we go all the way to the second the, the first part of the second sock in this case it's the front because the the heel markings are on the other side. I hope you are looking forward to um, doing the afterthought heels because then we are going to cut into the socks. A lot of people are very afraid of that. They let me know. What are you doing? You're going to cut in your, your knitting. Yes, I am. It's only one stitch, people. It's not it's scary it sounds scary but it's not it's only one stitch and then you unravel but before that you make sure that all your stitches are secure and I will show you okay the last one knit and bind off okay drop the needle now I pull it a little Put them in position again. Make sure your stitch is not twisted. Okay, this is the, the last stitch of the other side. I place it on the needle. That's one and make a yarn over. And do the same. And it makes a wonderful stretchy bind off. Oops. There we go. Okay, I will stop. I will pause the... Um, the video now and I will come back when I'm at the end of the socks okay of sock one I'll be back okay I'm back <clears throat> I've done the last stitch and I'm ready to um, well end this um, binding what I always do is um, I pick up because there's a difference in height as you can see now normally I'm not very um, peculiar about that I mean it's only a sock you know who's gonna notice and my grandmother used to say if you run fast enough nobody will see um, but I made it a habit to um, sort of equalize it so what I do is I pick up the first two stitches 
of the, the next group of stitches here. If we were going to knit in the round, this would be the next stitch. And I pick up the V, just both strands, and then I'll pull it through and put this one over the other one. And it sort of levels it out. See? I've got the thread and pull the thread through. See, it sort of equalizes it. Not, not quite, not all the way, but it's good enough for me. So that's one sock. Now I'm going to do the other. Let's get this ball out of the way. So you pick up the stitch that's here. We didn't lose the stitch. If you if you leave it small like this, you're likely to um, lose this stitch. So I always pull this one. So I won't lose it. Okay, it's one stitch. So do a yarn over. Knit one stitch. And all the way to the end. Oh, and I'm not in frame, sorry. So you're always binding off with two threads and the extra yarn over makes it stretchier, more stretchy than normal. And that's the trick of this method. Oh, if you're, that's what I wanted to say, if you're planning on joining uh, the Facebook group, the Scrappy Sock Knitters, please be aware that um, we ask two questions um, if you want to become a member. The first one is, um, why do you want to join? So it doesn't have to be an essay when you answer that question, but please tell me why you want to join. And the second question is, if you agree to abide by the rules. And we have a few rules. The first one being that um, it's about scrappy socks, so it's not about normal socks, because there are other awesome groups about sock knitting. And I don't want to get in their way, you know. We are exclusively for knitting scrappy socks. So I love seeing your normal socks, don't get me wrong, but if you post them, I will delete the post because um, we would like to see scrappy socks. And the definition of a, of a scrappy sock is that it's at least knitted with two different yarns. So please don't show the otherwise awesome socks made with one yarn, but it's not the place for this group. And it's not the place to show um, other project, other projects with made with scrappy yarn. Only socks, please. And you're welcome to join. I would love to see your work. Okay, last stitch. Pick it up. Put, pull the needle through. Bind off over this stitch, cut, and pull the thread. And you have two almost finished scrappy socks. The next next part that I'm going to film, and I want, I I op I prepared my um my director's uh, thing. I forgot to do it because that's, well, sort of a joke. Take one. It only took take one. 
not two or three. I did <laughs> I did a good job the first time. Yay. The bind off from the Scrappy Socks tutorial, take one on Thursday the 15th of April. Okay, I'm gonna do this anyway. Yay. Um okay, I'll see you next time when we're going to pick up the stitches under and above the stitch marker for the afterthought heel and we're going to cut the stitch yay scary okay see you bye